I invested 4 million coins in fodder cards and made some incredible gains in just under 12 hours and I'll explain the entire process in this video. I started with a coin balance of 10 million coins on Friday afternoon around 2.30 pm UK time and started buying as many different fodder cards as possible. Now guys, I am an accountant by profession and for you guys, I recorded every single transaction that I made in a spreadsheet, the link to which you can find in the description below. Now this sheet shows which players I bought, how much I bought them for, at what time, then how much they sold for and how much profit after tax I made on each transaction. I would also like to clarify that all these transactions that I'm showing you were made in the PC market. But honestly guys, all three markets move in exactly the same manner. So all advice that I'm gonna give out is totally relevant across all three platforms. Now this was a very good time to invest because on Thursday we had the division rival rewards come out and we also got throwback marquee matchups which increased the supply of cards in the market. And with no new major upgrade SPC on Thursday, we saw a massive decrease in the price. So guys, I ended up spending almost 4.3 million coins on 231 different cards and it took me around 4 hours to buy all of them. Now normally it does not take me that long to buy these cards but since I was recording each transaction manually, this process became a real pain for me. So guys, at 6 p.m. UK time, EA dropped some crazy content and almost instantly the prices of all the fodder cards soared as people were buying them to do all these new SBCs. We got a crazy looking footies Barela with 5 star 5 star high high but the surge in prices could mainly be attributed to the elephant in the room, the 90 plus X7 SBC which required 89, 88 and 85 rated squads. All my investments were in cards rated 87 or more so their prices were directly impacted by this SBC. So guys, around 12.30 pm UK time, I was able to sell every single card that I had purchased, giving me a total profit of 1,085,000 coins. I also got an extra 100,000 coins by selling Renato Sanchez that I had packed earlier, bringing me to a total coin balance of 11.2 million. Now guys, this is something very important to understand. I don't recommend buying cards on a Friday afternoon next week because most probably we'll be getting the footies bash 3 with shapeshifters in them. So we can expect EA to run lightning round after lightning round on Friday which will probably drive the prices of these cards down. Next up guys, I'll show you which cards yielded the best results for me. First up, Yan Oblak. I don't know how I was able to snipe him for so low. I got 8 of them at around 25,000 coins each and on average each and every single one of them yielded a 10,000 plus profit margin giving me a total profit of 80,000 coins from just 8 cards. Next up we have future stars Brian Gill. I've been trading with this card before so I know how well he sells. I bought 21 of them and sold them for a combined profit of more than 100,000 coins. Next we have Shapeshifters Pepe which also sold really well but I don't think I'll be investing in him next week because he'll most probably be back in packs in footies batch 3. So the last two players on this honorable mentions list is UCL Christensen and headliners Reese James. Honestly, I wish I had bought more of them because these two cards gave some insane profits. Now guys, I have to warn you that if these cards worked well for me this week, it does not mean that they'll work again next time. So guys, if you want to see the full list of every single card that I traded in, please check out the file in the description. Also feel free to ask any questions that you may have in the comments down below. So please drop a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Thanks for watching the video guys, I'll see you next time.